Joining me now is Tinsley. She's one of the managing partners out here at Windmill Ice House. And right in front of us, it's like pretty much everything you got on the menu yes. and more. I mean, this is an incredible spot. It's right here, basically in a spot of San Antonio that's so unassuming, you wouldn't expect a property size like this to be out here where people can come and enjoy themselves outside, especially with barbecue. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like in the, the heart of a neighborhood. That's right. And our goal here, we got really lucky finding this one acre property out here so close to the loop. And we just want everybody to feel like they can come out and enjoy a backyard barbecue, feel like they're in the country without really having to leave the city. Right in front of me, this is a specialty menu item, <laughs> not always on the menu, but Special. you'll be lucky. Yeah, when you come out here, you gotta ask, are the dino beef ribs out there on special? But check this out. <laughs> I mean, you guys are low and slow out here, right? So everything that comes off is a lot of love, but look at that. Yeah. And this thing is just rocking. So juicy. I mean, the tray right here, the, it's just covered <laughs> in all that goodness. Yeah. Seasoning on the outside, the bark looks incredible. And you can tell, look at that, just super tender. And that's how you know that this is ready to rock and roll. I got to take a bite out of this. Thing. Absolutely. I've been waiting. I'm going in for the real deal, y'all. Dino Beef Ribs out here at the Windmill Ice House. They don't get much better than that. Uh. <laughs> Come on! The rich flavors of that beef, I mean, when you get that bite, you're gonna mix it up a little pickle, the guy a little pickle and onion on there, and you can't beat it. The bark is killer. I love the seasoning. Can you give me the secret on the seasoning, or is that like, you gotta take it to the grave? <laughs> no, no, I might get thrown in the pit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll be on special at one yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Look at that, little burnt ends. And there's something sweet going on them too. I love that flavor that's on there. And you can either have them by themselves, you can dunk it in something, yeah. maybe even the pinto beans, right? It's kind of a popular thing to do. Add whatever you want. I mean, I like to put, I like to put them in the mac and cheese. They're delicious in there. Mm. For the cream corn. Wow. Adam's on the pit. Who's in the kitchen cooking up all these delicious items? So that would be Gary, our kitchen manager, who is mm. fabulous. Greens, mac and cheese, green I know, green the green, are... yeah. We, we wanted to add some just, you know, other than the typical just barbecue sides, the collard greens. How should we do it? And we should. <laughs> That's a shut your mouth bite right there. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Check this out, y'all. You can already tell. Holds up on its own weight. You pull on it, falls apart. That's good brisket, okay? Nice little bark on there. Smoke ring as well. Trim nicely so you got some fat. And you have two sauces as well, which we is kind of like blast me in Texas. Yeah. I but, <laughs> 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 but if you got it, why not? We I do, mean, that's kind do. of where yeah. it's all transforming. See, I want to try. You went for the mustard. I did go for the mustard sauce. You went sauce. for the mustard. And this is the brisket with their mustard sauce that they're making in house. In case you're a sauce person, here we go. Mm. Give it some love. Woo! <laughs> now, if you have enough time to try everything on the menu, I highly recommend trying just a little bit of everything. Right? You got turkey. You have the chicken, sausages, brisket. You also have the white bread tortilla option, which is, you know, dealer's choice. Pickles, onions, all the side items. The collard greens are outstanding. So are the green beans, the pinto beans, the cream corn. I mean, honestly, this is a really cool spot that just opened up here in San Antonio, and we're super lucky to have something like this. Oh, you have yeah. that little piece of ice cream over there just been kind of Melting. floating away as we've been talking, but what's, yes. what's that dessert item you got over so there? So we have, you can get a cookie or you can get beach cobbler uh, with a scoop of ice cream. You can also just get ice cream if you want, but if you get the cobbler, you automatically get the ice cream. You just get the cobbler. You get the yeah, so just get the cobbler. You get the ice cream, <laughs> Yeah. Too. Now, you got to get all the savory items when you come out here to the Windmill Ice House, but if you're going to get dessert, this is the one to get peach cobbler ice cream on top. You can see, man, on a hot day, this poor ice cream, it only can stand so long, especially on top of a nice bed of hot peach cobbler. I want to get some of the crust, a little bit of the ice cream on there. Here we go. That's the bite. <laughs> now, that's peach cobbler, man. This place is awesome. Well, you guys come out here, the Windmill Ice House. I mean, just right down the road, right off 410 in Nacogdoches. This is a spot to come to. So many options. I got to keep going in, though. You know, this Dino Beef Ribs where it's at. Follow them on social media to know when they got it. All right, I got them for my yeah. more mac and cheese. Here we go. Yeah.